deadline for foreigners staying in Pakistan illegally is about to expire, but there are significant challenges ahead. The government aims to deport unregistered aliens, including Afghans, but officials are concerned about logistical and political obstacles. According to a Dawn report, around 100,000 illegal Afghan immigrants have voluntarily left Pakistan in the past month. However, the uncertainty surrounding the total number of illegal immigrants in the country adds to the complexity of the deportation process. Pakistan's caretaker interior minister has warned of strict action against those sheltering undocumented immigrants, including Afghans, after Tuesday. Interim Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar told students at a university in Lahore that the government's prime responsibility is to protect its citizens. In addition, the Foreign Office has asserted that the deportation of illegal foreigners from Pakistan aligns with domestic laws and international principles. Authorities in Karachi estimate that around half a million Afghans reside in the city, with 200,000 identified as illegal immigrants in the Sindh province. However, there are concerns about accommodating and repatriating such a large number, as well as potential political and diplomatic challenges. Sindh Home Minister Haris Nawaz stated that they are setting up three holding centres in Sindh for repatriation aiming to transport 400 to 500 immigrants from Karachi three days a week. The Sindh government will cover the estimated cost of up to 2 billion rupees. The smiley Afghans applying for immigration to Canada will not be detained. On the other hand, official documents reveal that there are around 300,000 illegal Afghan refugees in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Authorities said they will begin shifting illegal immigrants to designated holding areas after the deadline expires. Those who choose to leave voluntarily won't face issues, but those who remain will be arrested and charged for illegal stay. Rather than sending them to prisons, a judicial magistrate will issue release orders following a screening by Nadra, after which they will be transported to the border for deportation. The provincial government told Don it is prepared for both voluntary return and deportation processes to occur simultaneously. Similarly, the Punjab government said it has equipped deputy commissioners and district police with e-tablets containing data of Afghan nationals with proof of residence cards or Afghan citizen cards. The Home Department has a dashboard for entering details of illegal foreigners. Starting Wednesday, authorities will verify data through thumb and finger scan. Those found to be illegal may face property and business forfeiture, along with consequences for their facilitators. Complex cases like those involving marriages to Pakistani citizens will not be deported initially. The federal government has a day-wise departure schedule for Afghan nationals and foreigners to avoid confusion.